Hey guys, welcome to Sir Hacks. So in this episode, we're going to talk a little bit about the order profile page. In the default screen, it'll show you only the order name and details. We're going to customize it so that now shows you start, stop, and ordering position columns as well. It'll give you a little bit more information to make your day a bit easier. Welcome back to Cerner Hacks. So in this episode, we're going to talk about the order profile screen. Uh, this is a very important screen as this is where we do a lot of our reordering of medications and also double checking of medications to find out when things were started and stopped and who ordered them. So to access that menu, we go into order profile and then we can click on the title. Uh, there is some information here, but it's not very complete. So I find that's better to go into order profile and we can manage and um, do more with the screen. So we can access this screen also through the dark menu and into the orders and it'll get to the same place. So here the defaulted screen will only show you the order name and the details. It won't show you necessarily very easily with the start and stop times and who ordered the medications. Fortunately, there's a really easy way of making changes to this. We will right click this light blue bar and go into customize view. So right now it's showing us the quick discontinue, the notifications, order name, status, and details. We're going to remove the order name and details. And fortunately there is one that's called order name and details, which is a two in one column. We're going to move that over. We're going to move the start time over, the stop time over, and the ordering position over. There's a few other things you can choose here, but these are fun. Sorry, these are the ones that I find the most useful. I group them by clinical category, but you can also group it for other things you, uh, by date, for example. But clinical category probably works best for me. Sorted by order name and details. We'll click OK. So now you can see the order name and details are now in one column. The start time, the stop time, and the ordering position. So hopefully that will help your day-to-day -day progress and uh, make things a little bit easier to read.